These are the things that we use as miners, family. These are the things that are important to us as miners. These are the things that we need to know as miners. But there's something that they don't tell us about here in this book that I have a problem with. Um, let me just get to it. If you know it, it's called the OSI model. You can just go to Google and search for OSI model. You will find it there. Um, they will explain it to you. But there's something that they left out of the OSI model that is very important, you know, family. So at the end of the day, this OSI model is how basically data is transmitted through a network. So um, you see, I have all of these things highlighted. Collisions, you know, collision detection. Hmm? You never knew that I knew all of this, but hey, this is what I know, family. This is the things that I studied. You know, so all of this has helped me to do what? To be able to maneuver myself into this blockchain world of things. And this right here is how you make a cable. The video that I shared with you last time of how I was making a cable here. So I just cut a bit off and then I made a second cable. As you can see, let me show you. My second cable is working perfectly. The exact exact way of how to make yourself a nice ethernet cable here it is as you can see wiring standards to them yes thank you very much inter-networking models so the layered approach is basically a reference model you see it's the blueprint of how communications take place the osi model this, this is where I'm reading right here, family. It's seven layers of that tells you how data flows through a network, you know. The physical layer would be now when it gets to your cable. And the application would be now what happens behind the scenes. All of the things that you don't see. You understand? So, if you look at this, it's application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical. You know, physical being now where the cable is. So at the end of the day, this is how data flows through a network. This is what they drill into our brains to know and understand. But at the end of the day, there's something missing. They give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers only of the OSI reference model. But there's an eighth layer here that they don't give to us. And what's it called? It's called the blockchain layer. The blockchain family. This book doesn't say anything about the blockchain. Why? Because they want us just to remain employees. So I took the knowledge that I know and converted it simply into the blockchain layer. So now I put the eighth layer and made my computer communicate on the eighth layer. And now that's how we get to take everyday computers like this turn them into money making machines so basically with me right here I have uh, a motherboard I took a picture of me like last week a few days ago with this motherboard it's brand new and you can see I bought this baby right here so basically why I'm showing you two motherboards is because this motherboard right here is an old motherboard family this motherboard right here is an old motherboard that I'm not using currently anymore because I realized that this motherboard can't actually handle what I wanted to do. Because what I wanted to do is max out all of these slots and make it mine 3x. But unfortunately, this type of motherboard is an old type of motherboard family. I was basically abusing it. I tried. Um, Doing the BIOS updates and all of that, still nothing. I could only use one slot, which is this slot right here. You know, so this is the only slot that wanted to work. So it was useless having this thing on. That's why I bought this baby right here. You know, brand new, brand new motherboard. We ain't playing no games. This thing right here, I bought it for 2100 Rand. Go check it out online. You'll see that it's probably edging close to the 3000 Rand mark. Why is that? Because basically right now what we're facing is a computer. It's like there's a global shortage of computer chips. 
You know, since cars now are becoming smart cars, they all need computer chips and processors. So at the end of the day, there's a global shortage. And as you do know right here, we got more. We got more. It's another GPU. And underneath there is another one. We ain't playing no games, man. When I say that we're building the Northern Cape's biggest ever crypto mining machine, this is what I mean.